Hey, what's going on? It's Mike T. Nelson here from www.miketnelson.com. And if you're looking for a really cool exercise to do today, since it's a nice summer day, so you gotta do some arm exercises. Here's a cool one you probably haven't seen before. I got originally heard about this from my buddy Adam Glass. So it's called the plate curl. So instead of using a normal dumbbell, which is a good exercise, you're actually gonna use a plate. So a lot of you may not have dumbbells, so this is a good exercise you can do at home. So the key is, it's really gonna work the fingers, the thumb, and also the wrist. So when you're normally doing a dumbbell, usually you're holding on to it like that. So this time what we're gonna do is have our palm open, our wrist straight, and then we're just gonna place the weight just in our hand, just like that. And then we're gonna put the thumb over the top, kind of holds it like that. And in essence, you're just gonna go down and then back up again. The key is to keep the wrist straight. We don't want any wrists doing anything like that. And then you're just gonna curl it just how you normally would. When you try this out, you'll find right away that a lot more stress on the fingers, the thumb a little bit, and especially on the wrist. So a lot of times these are really weak points for people. It's actually the fingers and also the wrist. So this works really good for that. Uh, most people when you start, let's start off with a five or a 10, uh, you can actually put two 10s on top of one another. So a 10 here, wrap your thumb over the top, that'd be for 20 pounds. And you can also go up to just a standard 25 pound plate. Even going up from 20 pounds to a 25 pound plate because of the change in leverage, it's actually pretty hard. So even going from a 25 to a 35, huge difference. And up to a 45 is insane. I think, I know Adam's done it with a 45. I haven't really seen anyone else do it. So uh, when you get to a 25, in essence, you're just gonna do the same thing when you come up and then back down. And you'll find when you stall out on it, what happens is the wrist ends up kind of going like this and you won't be able to do it anymore. So real quickly, that's how you do plate curl. So if you're looking for, trying to get out of the sun here a little bit. So if you're looking for exercises to do, especially to work the grips and your hands, wrists, and also your biceps all at the same time, uh, try doing a plate curl. In the next video, I'll show you how to, another implement you can use for plate curls too, but in the meantime, check that out. You can find more information at www.miketnelson.com.